I think it suits him. And that's not a cheap outfit either. Those shorts are expensive. Another would leave the bullseye. Not to be, and Berry Van Peer needs just one treble to get a go at the button. Berry is very creative when it comes to a lot of finishes in the 80 to 130 range. But this is where you've got to remain traditional. Straight down the line, just like this. Double five. That is magnificent from Bionic. He is putting Van Dongen to the sword. Berry could end it with a bang here. Sometimes when he gets a little bit anxious, he does take a little bit of a timeout. Just had one there. But it might be lights out for Jules Van Dongen if he doesn't find this in six after a mismatch shot for Bionic. Yeah, and he'll feel like he's just been in a spin. This match would have been much, much shorter than he expected. And he will be expecting this to be taken out because Van Peer has been excellent now then. 14, leaves the ball. 47. He can miss. Earlier in the match, we saw Van Pier going for two treble 17s on a 134. That option was open for Van Dongen, but he chose not to go that route. Instead, he used a pretty good approach route there. But it's Van Pier for the win, and I expect him to get this. And he does get it. And Berry Van Pier blitzes. Jules Van Dongen in the opening match. Ideal place for him to put that right, but you've also got the European champion Ross Smith in a first round game with Florian Hempel for the right to face Cullen. I think Ross Smith is a danger 16. in every single event. Couldn't agree more. And I think he will have at the back of his mind that there's this stinging possibility that if he doesn't have a great European tour season, he won't be at the Euros to defend it. Talk to someone who knows about that particular stigma in your mind. It happened to me in 2011. But we have 60. to let everybody know, of the course, Uruguay that Michael Van Gogh is not here. He chose not to play in this tournament this weekend, so he's having a rest. Rest not, Lee Evans. 4-1, Lee Evans. Sounds really good. Finish, and Lee Evans has got two visits from here to complete what has been a pretty emphatic victory. When Suda was on 2-3-1 and hitting a single 20, he really should have gone to the 19s. The single 19 and then a bullseye of 25 90. would have left the finish. Yes. But now he's got all sorts of problems. He needs Lee Evans to have a meltdown. It's another awkward 62. finish he's left, but he may not get a go at it because Lee Evans has already taken out 62. It's double 16 again for Ebbs. 30. Match start missed. Alan, you require a lot 99. of this match, Lee Evans has been averaging 99. But it's... 99 Luft balloons that Suda needs. That leaves 78. Going double-double. No, he's not. Thought he was looking 59. down at the 19s for a moment. Lee requires 32. But he's finished very well in this game. He's 45, 46%. Lee Evans, you would think one of these goes to complete the victory. Just next door. Yeah, and gets it. Lee Evans beats and Alan Suter. It is back to back weekends where Evans has started a Euro tour. Okay. You know what? He blocked the path to the treble 20. Went in search of another treble and got it. Treble 19. Not going to happen. So to cancel out that break by Campbell. 68 required. And then just the eight. Now just the four. And a pair of twos achieves that. And it's a pair of twos on the scoreboard in this match. the best leg of the match from Callan, that previous oh, one in 13 yards. 
and he's threatening to go even better. All of a sudden, Callan Rids has ignited. And when the blue touch paper is lit with this young man, he is one of the most thrilling darts players around. Yeah, look where Matt Campbell is in this leg. Rids on tops. And it's all the threes for Campbell. Powerless to do anything about what Callan does next. Another 13 data. You betcha. Well, Callan Rids has been allowed to get to this stage of the game and find his form. Menu still to come this afternoon. And that's a tasty turn from Callan Rids. Adam Warner, debutant on the Euro Tour, one to watch. He's coming up next against Mario van den Bahada. We've still got Andy oh, Bolton against Keane Parry. That'll be fast and furious. Jeffrey Disvan, Brendan Dolan, and Andrew Gilding all on the stage. Maybe oh. pretty soon. Oh, yes. Callan Rids. It's taken him a while, but he's arrived in this game. Back to back 180s. Campbell with three treble 18s of his own, and it might be a parting farewell. Double 12, double six. Game. It's done and dusted. The Riot, Callan Rids, his first win on the Euro Tour this year. 102, he's at 104, beating Dimitri Vandenberg early this season. He does have the capabilities six. of averaging a lot bigger than what we've seen maybe from him on the stage. Your guess is as good as mine. I think that was a jetpack. Well, could he go off like a rocket here? Oh, Mario. No. no. Oh, no, Mario. He can't believe it. As soon as he started looking up there, I, I just hoped that he wasn't going for double 18. He actually got dart two right, and he's just had a real meltdown. Well, it's a fabulous 141 finish, but he needed 121. That reminds me of Jamie Hughes Seven last year. Remember what he did? He set up, was it a 147 and he went for a 141? Yeah, yeah, didn't get the nine. Or was it a 144? He, like he may still get it. He may still get it in style. 96. But he may lose the leg. If he loses this leg via this checkout for Adam, he knows exactly why. Make him pay. That's what the dark players should be saying to themselves right now. Good. And consider it paid a 1 1 2 for Adam Warner to make Mario feel sick. Wow, well, he's gonna be feeling pretty punched. Visit of this match seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? <laughs> it's been a really, like we said, intriguing encounter at the start of it, and it's panned out that way. You've got this real contrast in styles, you get that moment of madness from Mario. Yeah, he looks like a man who might have actually managed to put it to the back of his mind. We are seeing a bit more animation from him that, than what we would usually see. Now, Adam. I'll see some animation here. Well, it's not going to happen. Well, just imagine no, if he was to take a big finish to win the match. You and I have both seen him. Celebrate a big win before. Yeah, and his friends. I was swarmed by them. And with that in mind, if he does win this match, I hope he doesn't lose his dart <laughs> in the celebration well, either. That happened as well, yeah. Well, he's lost his way there a little bit. And he's going to indulge in the big build up once again. Look at the focus. Look at the preparation. He gave it the old Brock Lesnar shoulder shrug there, yeah. and it worked. Watch him, just watch him go. Start of the match with a 12 darter. He could bookend this performance, or even better than 12. Finish line itis, did you say? <laughs> well, the evidence tells us that he's ready to run into the next round, not amble. Well, we said at the start of this game that Adam Warner's story could be a movie or a book, and this had a brilliant beginning, a very readable middle. Is this the excellent end? He's through on debut! 
And Adam Warner is going to take on Michael Smith tomorrow. I also think winning on the Challenge Tour is about as hard as it's ever been with the standard nowadays. Correct. And, and we know how good Martijn Dracht is, because when he was in Kiel, he made the last day. And that's who Andy beat in the final of that third Challenge Tour event of the season. Well, despite that good visit from Andy Bolton, Keen Barry is the one bossing this leg. And he's going to get a couple of darts to win it, you would think, for a 4-1 lead. And it looks a commanding one. There's nothing in it in the averages. They're both averaging 94-95. And yet, Keen Barry is the one taking care of business. Will that continue? Double ten, 46. and that mistake Andy could be the one 76. little glimmer that Andy's been waiting for. But that's a bad dart. The recovery must be perfect. He has a choice. He can be defensive and just get the big 11. But he's gone aggressive to leave double 14. 48. You can see how painful that is for X-Factor. When he came to the board, he was expecting minimum one dart at the outer ring. He did get it by one way or another. Double one then. No score. That wasn't the double Andy that Keen Barry wanted. I'm not even sure if that was on purpose. It doesn't matter anymore because he lost the leg and he shouldn't have. We don't want to see that, not if you're an Andy Bolton ultra. I remember years ago when Andy Bolton played at the UK 16. Open and he was a qualifier and he played against Vincent van der Voort. It was, let's say, a game that wasn't played in the 16. best of spirits. <laughs> but the one thing that I remember about it more than anything else is just how much Andy put his hand in his bag of tricks. And Vincent was spinning by the end of it. It was just the most extraordinary game to watch. That's another great looking first dart from Keane Barry. But again, it's a poor ton, and an extra 40 points would have made a big old difference. That game against Vincent was back in 2011, and Andy won it by nine legs to seven. It was one of the outside boards of Bolton at the back of the room. And there was a lot of people watching it. Got a lot of headlines, but you can't be leaving 169. You know that, Andy. Especially when Keen is looking at double 12. Oh, it's a beauty. And it gives him a two leg cushion as well. Locked something within himself. Yeah, Keen's going to take part in Leovarden in the Dutch Darts Championship at the end of the month. And then he will go to Belgium straight after that. So a hot 10 days or so. Probably the wise thing to do at that kind of juncture is just to stay in the area instead of travelling backwards and forwards. I think that's probably what he'll end up doing. But it doesn't seem to be something he struggles with, this globetrotting lifestyle. Looked like he was struggling in this game. But he's managed to dig himself out of a hole and he leaves himself on a double for the match. Can he stay in there? He's trying to leave double 11, but with Keane's angle of attack, he'll fancy this. He will. And he takes it out straight away. Keane Barry reached the final day here in Munich last year. He is off and running this year. Rob Cross, the number three seed, thrashed. Surely it's a two treble visit from there. It's all three for Scott Waits for the first time in this contest. Can he start to impose himself in it? He's got the 180, now he wants something neat and tidy at the end of a leg. That's neat. But that's not particularly tidy. And he will come back with three in hand, but this time his opponent will be on some kind of outshot. 92. So it's it's sub 100, so Waits now feeling the heat. He's on the Get the feeling he Scott knew Waits. that that had to go. 
stays within touch, keeps Dragutin Hall back. Well, much needed this from Dragutin Horvat. 16 darters have been enough for Scott Waits in the last three legs to get the legs won. 100. Dragutin, you're 64. Well, this will tell us a lot. This start will tell us a lot, and this one will tell us everything. 44. Scott Drew 138. He has not led in this match. In fact, he was 4 1 down. But he's not going to lead at the end of this visit. He may yet lead at the end of this leg, 100. but he's relying on Dragutin Horvat missing more darts. Wasn't the badly thrown dart at tops. Now he's got time. Now he's got two. And he leads once more, keeps Scott Waits at bay. So Waits can just set this up. No need to go for it. We saw Horvat go for it, didn't we? Doesn't even have that dilemma. Sixty. Mm. Could have used the bullseye there. That's Liam Mandel Lawrence without the bunny costume. He's in action this evening. Oh, hello. And that decision not to go for the ball, Dan. Could be costly. Ooh. It really could because he's only going to get one dart at double here. And it's one that'll have to go if he gets it. Double 15 or 19. Cannot get the treble. Dragutin Horvat for match darts, having lost 6 1 to Scott Waits here last year, has a chance for revenge. Misses a big number, shaky, nervy, but he gets a dart. And Dragutin does it! Horvat holds his nerve. His opponent here. Jeffrey will be hoping not as he sits on the Graham Gooch. 3 3 3. Dolan miles ahead. At any time we know Dizvan can snap into action. But just doing it less frequently than even he used to do at still a relatively young age in darting terms. Some people don't kick in until their 40s. Kicking in on double 18, and that's a 150 out for the halfway point. Amazing from Dolan. Yeah, I think that's an intelligent player. Even if you want to leave double 16 there, worst case scenario, you pull the dart low and you go and you bust. So well done, Jeffrey. Good player there. Good ball management. So what has been a decent darting ding dong? This is the parity. Actually so has got a little bit scrappier as the pair have come together. And unless Dolan can pull out another plum, his van will get darts and he might, you know, treble 18. Oh, that's unfortunate. I bet he thought that was in. About 90% of the way through the air, he thought, I'm getting a shot at the bull here. Jeff, you but 20. don't miss double 10. And we've got a tie game after eight. And, and we do. Jeff, it is one. It's very much and a neutral game, this as well. In terms of level in the match. But he might be about to take the lead. Oh, having lost, having trailed the game. It would have felt like he'd lost the game, having trailed it 4-1. Maybe we set it up right, Murph. We were saying that comebacks were in not being completed. Oh, Maybe Jeffrey a comeback could be completed by Jeffrey on this occasion, but a 68 checkout would definitely do him some good. Two fours, and he's now within one of victory. Dolan needs the last two legs, otherwise he'll be out in the first session. Not only does that man lead for the first time, but... We see there Disvan having to switch and doing it to great effect. His first start blocking the bed, and look what he's left. Well, he might stay on the 19s now, because he's just got two trebles, and if he does that again, he will get a match start at double 18. It is the finish that Dolan took Same. out Jeffrey to lead this match 3 0. He went on to lead the match 4 1. Dizvan doesn't even need to take it out, but he does stay on the 19s. He does it, two of them. Good and he shot. repeats Jeffrey. that brilliant finish that Dolan took out earlier in the match. With 20 21. more points. 
One, two, one for a three, one lead. And you can't do that with a single one to start. But now that Karnak uh, is on 105 on instead of, say, 85 or something smaller, let's see what effect it has. It has a big effect. Yeah, 20 uh, points on the floor. He should at least have got a dart at the bullseye. It might have even been destined for the treble 20. It's a really unfortunate bounce out for Karnak. Uh, and Gilding makes him pay. It's another 13 dart leg finished on double top for Andrew Gilding. Plus to tie, because Gilding right now is averaging 101. He has only missed darts at double in one leg of this match. And he's going to get a dart at double here at double 18 for a 1 2 6 that he narrowly misses. You know what, Dan? If this tournament was in Birmingham, you might as well just give Johnny Clayton the trophy. Doesn't lose there, does he? More successful in Birmingham than Martin O'Neill. 57. And you go on 36. Double 18 to break Karnak again. A little nod, knowing that he's back for nines. Easy. And it's happening again, just Nine like leg three. This is another, another big ask. He's left 132 twice. He's now Mr. 135. 63. Oh, does he go straight at 18. it? He's in line with the double nine over on that left hand side of the hockey. He's not in line with a double four. It does not matter. Andrew Gilding pins it and eventually manages to get that leg in the bag. 5 1 up, missed five darts for the leg he lost. And Titus Karnik is just obviously every time. And if you're a dart player who wants to get mentally strong and have something to rely on, get your own process and make it your own. Well, he's talked about how he's lent on psychology theories and all sorts of stuff to help prepare him for big stage darts. Mm. Well, I wonder if he <laughs> was going for the uh, for the double. I, 88. Well, if he was, that's odd because it wouldn't have been enough. Yeah, <laughs> it was so far from the treble. It made me think, well, why would you go for the double? 81. Well, it's entirely up to you, Andrew. Andrew. You've left tops. Ooh. You've hit it plenty of times in this match. Take it away. For 6 1. Another little nod. Fair and another high. miss. Well, Titus, he's had three legs where he's gone first time of asking, and three legs where he's mucked about. Double 16. And everybody likes to play lots and of darts. If you're enjoying five. it, it's great. But the name of the game is to dispose of your opponent as soon as possible. And on double two, he enters the madhouse. Mm -hmm. oh, Andrew mm -hmm. Gilding making a real mess of this. Titus More Uruguay match darts. 16. Five in total missed by Goldfinger. And Karnik can prolong this one. But will he prolong this one? No, he won't. Fourteen. No, he won't. Titus Karnik on double and one. Gilding has already missed double one. Five. He'll be wanting double two to finally seal it. Get and seal it, he does. The UK Open champion comes safely through. It